a Springfield breeder can't own pets for 15 years. That's just one stipulation included in a plea deal for the woman accused of throwing two cats in the river. KZI 9 News reporter Nan Nguyen is live in the studio to break down the no contest plea. Nah? Brandy, it's a story we've been following since the very beginning when Gould was first caught back in December tossing a pair of her Persian cats into the river near Island Park. And after yesterday's plea hearing, it seems that all parties involved are glad to see the case finally come to a close. The ultimate analysis was that it was in her best interest to go forward with the plea deal. For 62-year-old Betty Gould, that meant pleading no contest to the charges of attempted aggravated animal abuse. Technically, she didn't admit any guilt, but the result is the same as a guilty plea. Gould's attorney said it wasn't an easy choice or process. You have to take a look at the fact that going through a criminal case as a defendant is very stressful. And she was feeling very distressed about this whole case. Prosecutors dropped the other charges of animal abandonment. But Gould will still serve three years probation, pay a $1,500 fine, and agree to not own any pets for the next 15 years. Like I said, we consider this a huge victory for the animals and also for uh, the, the city. And but Springfield's animal control officer Brian Austin said not everyone is happy, but hopes people see the bigger picture. Uh, some of the people who we had talked to had extremely unrealistic expectations of the, with the outcome of this, including prison time. And the biggest thing that we wanted, that we pushed for extremely hard, was to keep animals out of her possession. While the case is closed, Gould's attorney hopes that people see how tough this is on everyone, including Gould herself. <sighs> Ms. Gould's actually a pretty nice person. And this is just one episode in her life, and I would hope people would remember that for her and for anybody else that they've talked to has been, been convicted of a crime is they may be very nice people. They've just done something they shouldn't have done and they're not likely to repeat it again. Gould's defense attorney says she's not happy with the outcome either, but she's come to terms with it now. She's just, she just now wants to move on with her life. Live in the studio, Nanowin KZI 9 News.